back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a pack with me. Me and my best friend Shelby are going on a trip to San Francisco for three days and I'm going to be vlogging that whole trip so stay tuned for that also. But I'm going to start packing now. I'll show you guys what I pack and like little tips I have for you guys. So let's do it. My bra's on the floor. That's can't happen. <laughs> you film that? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, we're gonna start off with shoes. I recommend always starting off with shoes because it's the heaviest thing in your bag and then if you put it on top of your clothes, they get dirty and that's gross. You don't want your clothes being dirty from your shoes. Like, ew, you can step on dog poop or like gum and that's just disgusting. Okay, I need to, yes, did that. What, I have a list. Oh, that's another tip I have for you guys. You should always make a, you're really close. Cool. You should always make a list because like, I forget things a lot. So I have all these things that you should like, really do. I have my jeans on the floor. <laughs> oh hey, you can see me, what's up? I didn't even realize, I don't wanna be in that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pack jeans, cause San Francisco's gonna be a little bit more chilly than it is here, and they're ripped jeans, so if I get hot, it's like, whatever, there's holes, it'll be breezy. I recommend just squishing your pants down, because they're pants, like it's not gonna get that wrinkly. But, when it comes to shirts, I do have a tip for you. Shirts can take up a lot of space, but, you just have to use this tip to like not use all our space. First, I have to figure out what shirts I want because I don't wear them. Oh, we haven't what? even decided yet? Okay, I want to bring like two t-shirts. I'll bring this because this with my black jeans is always cute. So, tip number whatever we want, I'm not even counting. You roll your shirts. So I would like fold it once and then roll it because rolling it takes up like so much less space and you can stack it and just put it side by side. It makes it so much easier. What other shirt? Think about the weather. Um, uh, do I want an off the shoulder shirt? Maybe it could be cute. You might get cold. Yeah, I know. You want like something you can put over it too, a shirt you can like layer. That's so true, wow, you're a baby. Thank you, I know. Do you want my babe shirt? Yeah, because you could put something over that too. Like it's long sleeve and You're you could right. put something over. Alright. It's a book. Okay, I'm not really folding these things correctly. It's okay, it's just gonna probably get wrinkled anyways. Let's be real here. We should probably pack an outfit like in our carry on, carry on. Because we're not gonna wanna dig through this when we get at the airport. That's true. So technically, I could pack one of these outfits and have more space. Wow. Okay, so now I have all my shirts, have my jackets, have my pants, have my shoes. I need leggings for when we work out. Leggings, I'll bring, I want this sports bra, my other Calvin Klein one, my black one. I'm gonna bring these. My sweatshirt. I'm gonna bring this in my carry-on though. This is what I'm wearing tomorrow. Okay, I recommend if you guys have zippers on the front, that's where you should put all your like underwear and bra and stuff because it takes up so much less space and it's so thin. So it's better to put it in the front. It takes up so much less space. <laughs> because if you're doing two carry-ons like we are, um, you can always have your like backpack or something with like your toiletries and it won't be as much of a hassle and run out of space. I recommend that if you guys are packing socks and stuff, don't put it in the front part, put it in your shoes because when you put it in your shoes, it's like you're not taking up any space at all because the shoes are already in here. You just stick them in there. You could also do this with like toiletry stuff, like if you really wanted to or like jewelry, put it in a shoe because then it's like no space is taken up and you won't want your jewelry, so that works too. Leia, oh, you want to come? Leia. Okay, bye. She hates me. Mama. She hates me too. Ooh. Is what? Show me. My favorite shirt. Stranger Things. It's like one of my favorite shows. We're wearing that tomorrow. Sounds Dude, great. we're going to be styling in the airport, but like not really. So, we're going to San Francisco. We're meeting one of my photographer friends, and I want to look cute. So, Shein sent me some things that I'm going to pack. It's going to be a little bit warmer on one of the days. So, I have this beautiful romper. It is so cute. I'm bringing this with me for sure. And I also got this two-piece from Shein as well. The shorts and the top. It's literally so cute, and the links will be in the description for that. Thank you so much, Shein, for sending me these products. I would definitely be wearing these because they're so cute and vacation ready, so 
Yeah. Next, we are doing the toilet treatment. My room is like such a mess because I'm just all over the place. Oh, I have this giant one I can bring. If you guys want a discount on all Glossier products, use my link in the description. I'm a Glossier rep. Thanks. <laughs> my brother's yelling, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, this is another tip, which I feel like should be obvious. Get travel size things because it really makes your life so much easier. And you can only have like a certain amount of ounces and fluids in your bag, so do that. Also recommend having like a bag that you don't mind gets ruined, like something plastic and see through because you can see if your stuff explodes, because it really sucks when you open your bag and then you're like, it exploded. No way. I got so many cute mini things. I'm gonna mini deodorant. Oh my God, I'm doing a haul. <laughs> I'm gonna deodorant, mini toothbrush, these little things, because I'm gonna put like my lotion and stuff in here. And then shampoo bottles, makeup wipe. That's not makeup wipe, makeup wipe. <laughs> and a limit water, because. Oh, tens. I have these little things because I have my hair masks from um, Garnier that I love and I need it for my hair to be good. Ew, my hair's on it, don't look at that. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, let's not bring my makeup. I need to bring my makeup. This is the same shade, what is happening? Which one have I used? It doesn't really matter, probably not. This one looks more dirty, so I'm guessing it means this one. I'm gonna bring my makeup and put it in another bag with this one smaller. I don't wanna wear like a ton of makeup on my trip. Well, I wanna wear makeup on my trip, but like, I wanna limit myself, so I'm gonna like, take this, you know? Okay, so now we're gonna be packing my carry out. This is what's gonna go like under my seat. The other one is what is gonna go above my seat. I don't, I don't know what it's called. So I'm gonna put all my makeup and stuff in here because we're gonna wanna do our makeup on the plane. I'm gonna put an extra change of clothes because if you wanna be comfortable on the plane, I recommend just getting comfortable and then bringing an extra spare change of clothes. So you go always change in the airport, which is smart to do because I like being comfortable. And then I need to pack my camera, which is currently recording me, and my Polaroid. Bring Advil, this is like the smallest Advil little container ever. It's so cute though, but bring it because you never know something can happen. If you guys can, I really recommend getting a portable charger because you're gonna be going to new places and wanting to take pictures on your phone probably, if not with a camera, but you're probably gonna be using your phone a lot. So I recommend bringing a portable charger, it really comes in handy. And this battery life actually goes pretty well. Like it charged my phone to at least like 100% and then another person uses it, so it's cool. I don't know, the brand is my charge. I got it at Target. I need to bring like all my other stuff, but that I need to do in the morning. So I guess this will be the end of the video. I will see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I will see you guys again next week when you see me in my vlogs. Bye guys.